Having a strong economy matters more than anything, David Cameron told supporters as he said there was no lack of drive in the conservative campaign. If you want political theatre, go to Hollywood, the Prime Minister said. Mr Cameron also said claims his party favoured the wealthy should be stuck where the sun don't shine. Labour has accused the conservative campaign of giving up over issues like the NHS and immigration. Mr Cameron emphasised economic security and stability in his speech, telling voters that if they wanted to take a risk they should go with the other guy. He said conservatives don't always shout with the passion that some people would like. Core Message But don't mistake that for any lack of drive in changing this great country of ours and making it greater still. The PM said wages, welfare, housing and childcare would be at the heart of the Conservatives' program for government in its first 100 days. Political correspondent Carol Walker said the Prime Minister was a bit more fired up than during recent appearances. He took head on the criticism that there had not been enough excitement in the campaign. There was a genuine sense of passion and commitment. We are told we are going to see a lot more of than between now and polling day. Legislation guaranteeing no one on the minimum wage pays income tax would also be among bills in the Queen's speech if the Tories win outright, he said. Other measures would include a British Bill of Rights, a lower welfare cap and moves paving the way for an EU referendum. The Conservatives say they will devote the last full week of campaigning before the May 7 poll to hammering home their core message that their economic strategy is working and would be threatened by a Labour government either governing on its own or with the support of other parties. Mr Cameron said policy pledges were meaningless without a strong economy. He added, it doesn't amount to a hill of beans if you can't provide jobs, livelihoods, growth and the things that actually deliver for our people. However, Hugh Osmond, from the private equity group Sun Capital Partners, told the Sunday Times he had no idea what a conservative government led by Mr Cameron would look like and achieve. Mr. Osmond has given the Conservatives £114,000 since 2008. His most recent donation, of £20,700, was in 2011. He says he has no intention of making any further donations and would be abstaining on polling day, saying both the Conservative and Labour campaigns were utterly cynical. But the Conservatives received a boost on Sunday when Sir Charles Dunstone, the chairman of Carphone Warehouse and a former supporter of New Labour, suggested that an Ed Mealy band victory could put the UK's economic recovery under threat. Writing in the Mail on Sunday, he said, I really felt I had to speak out as our economic recovery truly hangs in the balance. For me the choice is clear. And it is not a choice between backing business on the one hand and promoting fairness on the other. There is nothing progressive about attacking business and undermining our economy. If the economy fails, frankly it is not the richest who suffer, it's the poorest. It would be a huge and tragic irony if well-meaning people ended up hurting the most deprived in our country. But that is what I fear would happen with a Labour SNP government, one that is anti-business, anti-aspiration and pro-spending money we haven't even earned yet. Funding Disputes Opinion polls have suggested no party will win enough seats to govern alone. Ed Mealy Band has ruled out a coalition deal with the SNP and insisted a Labour government would not fund any of its spending commitments with extra borrowing, in turn accusing the Conservatives of making a series of unfunded pledges on the NHS, childcare and tax cuts. The Conservatives were forced to set aside several of their manifesto commitments in 2010 in return for agreeing a coalition deal with the Liberal Democrats. Nick Clegg has insisted no party can win an outright victory and his party will provide stability to whatever government emerges.